Hvala. Hvala informacijska tehnologija v časi. Oh, sorry. We decided to do it in English. So sometimes it is uh, good also to know when not to use the uh, latest advances in information technology. I decided to uh, try it this time, so no PowerPoint presentation. Uh, I, I am representing the conference uh, called Cognitive Science, and I do feel compelled to um, tell you something about what cognitive science is. It is a very, uh, uh, very rapidly developing uh, area. It is very uh, popular recently if you read the Scientific American, Nature, and this sort of magazines. But it is also very undefined, and probably because this rapid development, uh, it's quite unknown yet. It is the collection of all fields that in any way tackle the phenomenon of cognition or recently also consciousness. So uh, you, you get a feeling it is a very wide, very uh, colorful bunch of uh, scientists ranging from philosophy to neuroscience and many, many fields in between. Uh, so uh, there are huge problems in this area, how to cooperate, but even bigger is understanding that some of the ideas, some of the issues in this area uh, can only be solved, can only be understood when we tackle them uh, in interdisciplinary matter. So uh, that is what we try to do here. We are trying to um, uh, somehow tackle different disciplines uh, from as many as possible different viewpoints. Um, it is uh, very proper, appropriate that we are settled in the um, arms of uh, information uh, society. First, of course, because the, the, the heart and soul of information society, Matthias Gams was the president, uh, president of Society for Cognitive Design for many years. Uh, the other thing is that uh, artificial intelligence and other information, as we call it today, information technologies, were actually the main driving force main motor for a start of this new scientific area that we still don't know the name of it. it some say cognitive science, some use plural, cognitive sciences, if that is uh, possible at all. So um, the other is, as I said, uh, the field of artificial intelligence actually gave the starting boost to the field. Uh, it was in like 70s, the beginning of 70s probably, perhaps even earlier, when in, uh, I think it the first was in LA, in Los Angeles, uh, when they said, well, we, there was this huge enthusiasm growing. We can model human understanding, human cognition with these machines. And this enthusiasm is not so strong anymore, probably, but in 70s, 80s, it was, it was really huge. And it, uh, from the perspective of cognitive science, it did trigger the uh, development of this field. Now, probably more emphasis is on uh, neurological, medical, uh, neuroscientific side, but still we are trying to, um, to be interdisciplinary as possible, and that's the other um, issue why this really fits here, because this is this sort of conference that really brings people together. Um, and we try to, if possible, focus to one specific topic and see it from different angles. This year's topics is a great example. It is uh, empathy. Uh, we are talking about empathy, and it's interesting. Um, the term empathy was uh, it was coined in the beginning of 20th century. Perhaps some of you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's older. It was coined by some psychologists in the beginning of 20th century, but um, it was. Also, it remained in the realms of philosophic and psychologic um, uh, speculation until there were some neuro neurophysiological findings called uh, mirror neurons that probably you all are approximately aware of that jump-started the interdisciplinary research in this area. So that's what we try to do, see from AI point, from neurophysiological point, from 
psychoanalytic uh, point and from philosophical point. Um, so I would just like to say that this is the 15th uh, conference, Cognitive Science. Be before it was more independent, but we are quite happy to be in this area now. And it, it, of course, 11th in this, uh, in this setting. We went through big ups and downs, but I think we reached some stable point now where we, if nothing else, um, draw together uh, most of people from Slovenia that are interested in this and also recently just so spontaneously from abroad. So uh, we feel that this year's conference is quite a success despite many sick lecturers that couldn't come uh, and we are quite grateful to um, organizers.